Hey there, today in this short video I want to quickly show you how to play a really cool pentatonic scale lick that's easy to learn, easy to play, and can be used in all different kind of situations. One of my favorite saxophone players is a guy called Eric Alexander. If you don't know about him, I recommend going and checking out some of his music, it's really great. Anyway, I've been transcribing some of Eric's solos lately, and I've come across this lick that he plays often. It's based on the pentatonic scale. It's really simple to learn and to play, and you can use it in all different styles and different situations. So I'm gonna quickly show you how to play this, and I'm gonna demonstrate in a solo how you can use it in some different ways over a backing track. I think the best way to explain this is first just to play it for you and let you hear it. For those of you taking my pentatonic foundation course, you can use what you've learned there to pick this lick up just using your ear, not really any need for the sheet music. Um, however, at the end of the video, uh, I'll give you a link where you can go and download a PDF with the, the lick written out and explained, as well as the backing track I'm gonna play over now. Okay, so this is the lick, it's four notes any four notes in the pentatonic scale all next to each other and you play it up and down and it sounds like this and it just goes in a loop like that you could play it anywhere right now i'm playing my concert b flat pentatonic scale, major pentatonic scale. So for the tenor saxophone, that's your C major pentatonic scale. And I started it the first time on G, and then I started it on A. Now I can start it on C. You could start it on any of the five notes. Now I'm gonna play the this lick in, over a backing track so you can hear what it sounds like. I'm gonna improvise a little bit and then use the lick and then go back to improvising and then back to the lick back and forth so you can hear what it would sound like in a real situation. Okay, so I hope that gives you an idea of how you can play that lick in a solo. Um, now here's a quick variation. Right there I was playing that uh, group of four notes in eighth notes. Uh, but you could also make it triplets and that would sound like this. That's quarter notes, uh, eighth notes. Now here's triplets. and forth between the two.
Okay, so that's two ways you can use a very basic and simple, easy to play pentatonic scale lick in improvised solos. If you want to learn more about how to play this scale pattern and other pentatonic scale patterns for improvising solos, click the link on the screen or the link in the description below to visit bettersax.com and I will send you a PDF with some sample patterns, a whole explanation on how this stuff works, as well as the same backing track you heard me practicing and playing over just now. If you got some value out of this video, please click the like button. If you want to subscribe, you can do so with one click right here. Don't forget to head over to bettersax.com to get your free downloads and comment below. If you have any questions, I'll try to answer everybody. Thank you.